Well, fall brings on harvest season for farmers across the state, and you may have already seen a few tractors and combines out on the road. Tis the season, and here with some ways to share the road and to do so safely, it's Brad Yukin, Champaign County Farm Bureau Manager, back for our annual lesson in <laughs> how to share the road. That is correct, yes. Uh, we all know harvest is going to be here once a year. We know spring planting is going to be here once a year, so it's that time of year to, to get a refresher. So oh. what are the farmers doing right now? Well, harvest is pretty much in full swing. You, you saw over the last several weeks a number of farmers getting started. I would say we, we had that couple of days of rain uh, last week. I would say most farmers are in the field. There, there might be still a few that are waiting, but harvest is definitely a, a go right now. I was on my way back from Chicago over the weekend and noticed a number of fields that just two days before that had crops in them and now they're gone. It feels early to me, is it? Well, I, I always talk to a lot of people say, when will harvest get started? And a lot of times I say, you know, around that 15th of September, that 20th of September. And so we're past that. So I think that, you know, harvest, it's time for it. So, yeah. and Speaking of time, I have a bean field just right in my backyard and they were actually working late into the evening. You can see the lights yes. on, on the, on the combine there. So uh, we need to be mindful of all hours of the day. That's correct uh, because there is a window and, and it's all weather determinant and, and soybeans are a little different when we talk about those morning dews. When you get out of the house and walk across your yard and your shoes are all wet in the morning in the fall, that dew is also on those soybeans. It takes time for that to burn off a couple hours, you know, maybe 10 o'clock, and then they can cut a little bit better. So that's why sometimes you see them going a little later because they can, but in the mornings, especially with soybeans, it's very difficult sometimes to get that early start. And here I was thinking they just like to sleep in a little I bit, know. but no, that's, that's not the case at all. <laughs> what are some things we need to know as uh, non-farmers who are on roads, especially the back roads where these uh, tractors and other implements might be that, uh, that we need to know to be safe? Well, I think there's really two main things. One is, as you come across this farm equipment, it's going 20 miles an hour or slower. So if you're driving 55 and you, you're coming up behind it, you're going to close on that piece of equipment very quickly. So it's key to think about that as you're traveling down those roads. The second part of it is, I think, is, is the dangers of those uh, unmarked uh, turns that farmers are going to take. And by that, I mean those unmarked field entrances. So a lot of times you'll see a big piece of equipment swing out to the left to make a wide right hand turn. And so sometimes what you see, you be behind a combine, a tractor, and it's going to slow down. And you're thinking, why is it slowing down? There's no mailbox. We're not at an intersection. But what's there is, is an unmarked uh, field entrance that you have driven by thousands of times, but the grass is tall. You can't see it. And they're turning. They're not necessarily always slowing down to let you pass them. They're making that turn into that unmarked field entrance. Okay. Let's talk weather. You were talking weather dependent, you know, on, on harvest right. season. How has the weather that are impacted, um, I guess, the whole year in general for farmers? Well, overall, I would say we had a pretty good growing season. We had a, a good moisture uh, in the very beginning. We got a little dry maybe there in early June, but that subsided pretty fast. And so uh, maybe towards the end of August, we got a little bit dry in some pockets. And yes, there were some areas that got too much rain, uh, Gibson City and, and areas like that that got too much rain and too often, too many times. But in general, uh, I think harvest is going well and I think yields are going to be good. I know we've talked about this before, but what are the rules when it comes to uh, traffic safety with passing a tractor or things like that? Or are there any? Is it just common sense? Right. <laughs> you would hope so. <laughs> yeah, right. You just make up your own. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there happened. are. I mean, it is. It is. There, I don't know that. I don't know the book, the official, the yeah. state police. I'm sure have the book and can tell you. But at the end of the day, it's just people need to be patient, and that's not always easy because individuals that aren't farming, they have places to go to, right? They have jobs to get to, kids' activities, sporting events, whatever. And so, really, I would say it's a two-way street. Those involved in agriculture need to be cognizant of how many people are behind them and have that opportunity to pull over and let those individuals get around because we all have places to go. Very few times is somebody just out in the country <laughs> joyriding and I have no place to be. Uh, they, everybody has places to be and, and again it's got to be both the farmer and uh, that person that's traveling to and from to uh, share the road. I think the joyriding only happens when you're 17. And <laughs> uh, that's right. Beyond that you got right. somewhere to go. Oh, so fun. <laughs> well we appreciate you coming sharing those tips to make sure everybody stays safe right. during harvest season and we will um, share there was their uh, Facebook page and website, which we will have on our Facebook page after today's show.